over 50 years. 53 years. 53 years, same manager. We have no contract. And there is not a stitch of paper between them. Yeah. With all with those millions of records in those tens of thousands of shows. Yeah. There never we just felt that if we needed any kind of contract that it, that we didn't trust each other. So I just said, you do all the, the business, I'll do this. And, and we started the whole thing on a line. I told him I was a singer, he told me he was a manager. <laughs> but uh, this is actually what happened. We were staying, we were so poor at the time, the band, that we were staying in the Chambers Brothers basement in Watts. And Chef was living at this place called the Landmark Hotel and the Doors were staying in there. And, you know, Jimi Hendrix was there and all this. Jimi Hendrix happened to know the Chambers Brothers. And he saw that we were living in the bit, rehearsing it down there and And he told Shep, he says, Shep, you want to be a manager. He said, I know a band that needs a manager. And Jimmy brought us over there. We opened the door, and I thought there was a fog machine inside. There was so much smoke. <laughs> and you know, once you got past the smoke, there was Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, Creedence Clearwater. And they may have been smoking other than cigarettes. <laughs> yes. Of course, you have to remember this is 1968. It was highly illegal back Yeah, highly illegal. And, uh, but they didn't bother with the landmark because everybody was there. That was kind of. But that's where we started. Oh, the original, the original the Hollywood, Hollywood vampire. vampires was myself, John Lennon, Harry Nielsen, Keith Moon. Bernie Toppin, Mickey Dolenz. He played for us. Mickey Rainbow. played for us. Yeah. And these guys, every night we'd meet at the Rainbow, and they put us up in this like this area up there. And one of the waitresses says, I never see you in the daytime. All I ever see you guys at nighttime, and all you do is drink. You're like Hollywood vampires. And I went, oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so we all, you know, that was our club, the Hollywood vampires. Now, most of them passed away. Uh, Bernie Toppin and Mickey and myself uh, are, are, are still are still here. I was doing a movie with Johnny Depp called Dark Shadows, and I told him about the Hollywood Vampires, and he said, "You know, it would be a great idea." If we did a bar band, and it was just we would just do covers of all of our dead drunk friends because <laughs> that's what they were, and they would have laughed at that, you know. So I said, that's a great idea. Let's just do a little bar band, you know. And Joe Perry from Aerosmith goes, I'm in. And Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses, I'm in. Pretty soon, we had this super band. Wow. We played the very first show to an audience about this big. The next show was Rock and Rio, 250,000 people. <laughs> Crazy. Now, for all of you who don't know, Joe Perry is one of the greatest guitar players. You know, Aerosmith, come on. He, he is incredible. He played on this exact stage. He is, you know, such a great, great, great guitar player. Johnny Depp can play almost as good as Joe. Johnny Depp's a guitar player. I mean, he played just just finished that tour with Jeff Beck. And you don't play with Jeff Beck unless you're somebody. He played with McCartney, he played with the Stones, you know. So Johnny's not just, you know, the the, rock, the, uh, the, the movie star. He's a real guitar player. Wow. And, you know, of course, on stage, Joe's there, I'm here, Johnny's there, and every girl in the audience is looking over here. <laughs> so every once in a while, I run over on that side just to get some, you know, and come back. But he's one of the sweetest guys ever. On, on days off, he'll go to a, a children's hospital dressed like Jack Sparrow, you know, and he goes in and says, Hello, kiddies. You know, sick. You know, it's awful. You know. and, I mean, he's a, he's a very sweet guy. That's incredible. So, just to put it a, a little in perspective, a member of the original Hollywood Vampires has played for us, and a member of the current Hollywood Vampires right. yeah. has played for us, and you would be the second of the Actually, oh, there are two other vampires here tonight. My wife is a Hollywood oh. vampire. She sings all of the vampires. Can we introduce Wait, them? There. Can you stand up right here? Can you, can you, can you so how long, how long have you been How long have you been married? Cheryl and I have been married 47 years. Oh. And, uh, she 
was three when I married her. <laughs> she was in the Welcome to My Nightmare show when she was 18 years old. And uh, that was a big production. And uh, we were married the next year uh, when she was 19. And uh, we've got three kids, five grandkids. And, uh, you know, so they. I, I, you know, I don't know if they know what we do for a living. <laughs> no, the kids are all great. In fact, all of my kids are in show business. Uh, our daughter, Calico, is in show business. Dash is in show business. And our, our youngest daughter is a makeup artist. So uh, we got a house full of... But we're, we're sort of like the Adams family of rock and roll. <laughs> It's, it's, it's such an honor. If, 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 if I told my 14-year-old self that I would be sitting right here, right now, 